This is me, Josh Soros, investigating what is said to be one of the most haunted places in Ontario, Camp 30. But before we get into the investigation, I really want to give you guys some history on this place. Camp 30 was once built as a schooling compound in 1924. 14 years after the school was opened, the government ordered all students to vacate to another location for the grounds to become a prisoner of war camp called Camp 30. Canadian officials had several months to convert the school to a prisoner of war camp containing 15 foot high barbed wire fences and nine guard towers built out of wood. The school was originally built for 300 people which became a problem when the prison held about 800 people. Camp 30 is very well known to be haunted with one recorded story of a grim past named the Battle of the Bowmanville which took place from October 10th to 12th in 1942. The Battle of Bowmanville was carried out when prisoners of war barricaded themselves inside the cafeteria and fought guards with baseball bats, garden hoses, frying pans, and even bottles that left, that left guards and prisoners hurt and even shot in the incident. When the war ended in 1945, the fences and towers were dismantled and used for construction of homes in the nearby area. Today, Camp 30 lies empty, abandoned, spray-painted, and being reclaimed by the earth. So guys, the device that I have today is my full spectrum camera that I'm filming on. I got my full spectrum uh, light that's shining on me right now. Um, I got the uh, dowsing rods. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these in play. I know I filmed them in one other video, but these are insane. They're supposed to move. Uh, spirits can move them for you. So you just communicate and you talk. You ask them to cross it. You ask them to keep them forward for questions. I have a spirit box, which I use just to uh, communicate with spirits. They're, this fluctuates through radio frequencies and it allows spirits to be able to talk using radio frequencies. Then I also got my K2 device. This right here will spike if a spirit's in the area. It like it will be able to detect all the EMF, the electric magnetic fields in the air. So that's really sweet too. So we got all three of these things. They're all gonna be set up. And we're just gonna communicate as much as we possibly can. And just like that, we had all our gear. We're ready to start the investigation. For starters, we have planned to start off walking around the building with our K2 meter to see if we get any spikes so we can find some locations to start doing our exploration. But walking around the building, we didn't seem to find many spikes. There wasn't any actually. And then I was starting to lose hope with this place. I was like, is this place really, really haunted? I don't know. And then this happened. Guys, we're hearing something right now. What do you think that is? Do you think that could be people? I don't know if this camera's gonna, this, this, this mic's gonna pick that up. I don't know, it sounds weird. But it's definitely not people though. No, like See, I, I, I hear like talking though, I do hear talking. Like but I mean, but it's not like, it, it sounds it, like it's it, coming it, from it, outside. It, 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 it. Yeah, now it's gone. Well, that was scary guys, we literally just heard yeah, I hear it again. It's like coming in and out of the Like it sounds like it's coming from within the building. It sounds and, and one thing we're that really close to the I want to mention to you guys is what it sounds like to me is there's two different kinds of energy. There's an energy that is a spirit communicating with you and giving you intellectual answers and all that and then there's another energy which is just residual energy around the buildings which you'll actually hear conversations that happened here hundreds of years ago and that's just because that energy was so strong that it's still in this place so i honestly feel like that's what we just heard which is insane because i hope that the i really hope that this audio this the problem right now guys is this mic that i'm using isn't the absolute best at all I need to get a better mic, I need to get one that's set up to me, which I'm going to be doing very shortly, probably this week, honestly. So I don't know if I got that, but I really hope I did because that was some insane evidence right there. But, but So I don't know how to explain what that exactly was, guys, but we were hearing something from either outside or inside the building. It was definitely some sort of haunted noise. It, it, the best way to describe it was talking. There was like residual energy talking. It was quite terrifying. It was quite terrifying in the moment. We didn't know exactly what it was, and as you can see, the K2 started going off, so that's what makes us think that it's spirit activity. But anyways, with that being said, we decided to get into doing some spirit box sessions, so I'll let you guys see that. Hello. Uh, it's 
Hurry. I heard hurry. Hurry for what? Is there anybody here with me that would like to communicate? I just hear something. Okay, you're here. What is your name? My name is Josh. Joel. I just heard Joel. Joel, would you like to communicate with me? You? Are you trapped here? Listen. Listen. I heard trapped. You're trapped? Are you, are you a prisoner of war? Or are you a worker? Yes. Does that was that yes for being a prisoner of war? I'm hurt. What was that, guys? Okay, if you're communicating with us, you're doing a great job. Thank you for that. What year are you from? When did you pass away? Keep hearing something from over there, guys. Again. Now over there. We haven't heard a single noise in this building since we, like, I guess downstairs we heard something, but up here we haven't heard anything really. Like, we heard the voices, and that was, that sounded like it was either in the basement or it sounded like it was far away. We're hearing, like, something, like footsteps even, like, something lifting off off the dirt, like, is what we're, what we're hearing right now. Cursed. Is this building cursed? Okay. Why is it cursed? Is it an energy, a spirit that's here that makes it cursed? Yeah, there's like a spirit. Did you hear that? That was like a growl, guys. That was a loud growl. Who's growling at me? Who's growling at me? Oh, there was a spider on me. That's great. Demon. Did you hear that? That's what I thought. Is there a demon growling at me? Why aren't you guys communicating with me? Are you guys afraid? Help me. I heard another noise back there. I'm getting the chills right now, guys. So I'm just trying to hold off. I haven't seen this spike for the last. For some reason, in the last two videos, this, this device hasn't spiked. I hope it's still working, honestly, but we'll have to see when it spikes, right? I just saw like a flash of light. You saw a light? Like a flash of light. Like a zoom by. Guys, let's look over there. The full spectrum should be able to pick it up. I'm not kidding. Have you seen it again, or? No, just that one time I was like, on the camera. Alright guys, I just got the camera back on. So, 
that battery was fully charged. I'm 100% of it because I charged all my batteries last night. That battery just went from full to dead instantly. I really hope that it doesn't happen with this this uh, battery that I just put in because I actually have two batteries. But So as you can see, some weird stuff started happening to the camera. We were also getting some weird answers throughout the spirit box, so we don't really know what to make of this. Not a whole lot happened after this. We were doing the dowsing rods and we didn't really get any answers through it. We heard a few noises like you see here, but I don't think it was anything in the end of the day. It might have just been the building cracking or something. But honestly, like, it's, it's hard to say really. It's hard to say if it's haunted or not. In my opinion, I definitely think this place is haunted just because of some of the activity we are getting. But there's no, there's no telling for sure if this place is as haunted as people are really saying. I'd have to go back for another investigation, so I want you guys to do me a favor. I want you guys to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications if you guys want me to come back to this place and do another investigation. I come back and do a full in-depth investigation, maybe even stay overnight if that's something you guys would like. So drop a like if you want me to do that. And that being said, that's another investigation by Josh Soros. I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, I love you, take care, and peace. See you soon.